All right, y'all, so I'm coming with Proverbs 4, 25 to 27. And uh, in this scripture, you know, Proverbs, yeah, Proverbs 4, 25 to 27. And uh, the, the theme of this, this scripture, what I would like to call this one, is being narrow-minded. You know, being uh, close-minded, right? The insults, like these are things that I've heard about my own personality, that I'm narrow-minded, I'm uh, close-minded, you know, I'm one track minded, kind of monotoned. You know, I've heard these things about my personality over the years and, and, and you know, in, in 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 bygone days it was more offensive. Now it's more of eh, you know, it's 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 I've embraced it and uh I I wear it as a badge of honor. It's my reputation that, you know, and I, I again, like I said, as you grow with wisdom you understand that certain things that people label you as and call you as, it, it's 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 complimentary if you if you have wisdom uh, yeah i i guess that's the best way so proverbs 4 25 to 27 is going to i'm going to share that with you guys and um uh, and proverbs 4 25 to 27 it's i'm going to share it with you and show you why that proverb has made me take certain labels as a compliment as opposed to an as an uh opposed to an insult so proverbs 4 25 to 27 says this and, and, and i'm uh paraphrasing it says let your eyes be single let your eyelids set straight like look straight let your eyes be single and let your eyelids uh look straight ponder thy feet the ways of thy feet and let thy ways be established uh do not look to the left do not look to the right again i'm paraphrasing i don't have the proverb in front of me so i might have kind of you know uh rearrange the words a little bit the order a little bit but that's in gist so you can read it for yourself proverbs 4 25 through 27 came to me this morning and again it says let thy eyes be single let your eyes be straight uh let your eyelids you know uh look straight on ponder the journey ponder the, you know the way of your feet and uh let your ways be established and in in, in 27 it says uh do not look to the left nor to the right right so now let's get esoteric with that right and and, and if you've been watching my videos y'all should know what esoteric mean by now so what is this really telling us right it's telling us exactly the labels that i've been called narrow-mindedness right monotone uh close-minded you know another 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 term is focused disciplined this is what the, the, you know you could you could take the negatives or the the, the you know what 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 they would consider the negatives because to me being narrow-minded is not negative. It, again, it's context. It's how you look at it, right? Uh, being uh, closed-minded is not negative. You know, this is what the proverb is telling you. Find, you know, uh, esoterically, what this is saying is, it says, "Let thy pat, let thy ponder thy feet." What that means esoterically is, ponder your feet. Be strategic in your steps. Be very strategic in your steps. Ponder thy feet, the ways of thy feet. Esoterically, what that means is to be very strategic in every single step that you take in life. Be very precise with every choice and decision you make. Be concise with all of your doings. That's what that means. Ponder thy feet and let thy ways be established. Be very strategic. Be very disciplined, right? Uh, all these words, strategic, disciplined, concise, precise, you know, those are not necessarily uh, the worlds or those who are social butterflies and those who are party goers and the, those who like to hang out and have fun, so-called fun. These words are, 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 are taboo. These words are, you know, discipline and, you know, uh, concentrating and focused and denying yourself of certain pleasures that's all in this proverb it says look not to the left nor to the right that can be translated do not be distracted you know that can be translated be single minded be narrow minded look not to the left nor to the right mm, that's that, that 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 can be translated have your have your focus so disciplined on one be one track minded things that i've been called be one track minded here's here's why if that one track is leading you to becoming 
the next CEO of your of the company. If that one track is going to lead you to the person who invents the next social media, the next Facebook, the next Instagram. If if that one track mind is going to lead you to be the next Jack Dorsey for the next Twitter. If that one track mind is going to lead you to be the next Jeff Bezos for Amazon. If it, you, you see where I'm going. So it, it depends on the, uh, when people call you one track minded, consider the, like it says, ponder the ways of thy feet. That can be transferred, transliterated. Consider what you are doing. If people are calling you one track minded, if people are calling you, uh, you're not the life of the party, you're boring, you're a killjoy, consider the one track that you're on. And if that one track is your dream, if it's your aspiration, if it's your objective in life, if it's your, if it is your purpose, ponder the way of thy feet. Consider why people call you, you know, one track minded. Consider it. Are they calling you that because you are you are on your purpose? If you're on your purpose, if you're standing on your square and your square is your purpose and you won't look to the left nor to the right, meaning you won't get distracted, you won't let nobody take you off, you won't let them influence you, you won't let them persuade you, you won't let them uh, cajole you, you won't let them uh, coerce you, you won't let anyone move you. When you consider where they're trying to move you from or, 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 or influence you from or draw you or pull you from, when you can, if, if that square that you're standing on is your purpose, then, it's, then, then, then embrace being called one track minded. Embrace being called narrow minded. Embrace, someone said, I have no social skills. I'm anti social. Well, I consider. Where am I? Where am I social at? I'm social in my purpose, and if, 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 if anti so, if me being anti-social means me not looking to the left, which is where you're trying to pull me, or to the right, which is where you're trying to distract me, then I embrace anti-socialism. I embrace that. You know, someone said you're socially inept, meaning you don't have social skills. Well, if that means I don't like to sit at a bar or a lounge and be idle, I'd rather sit in my in my my lab, my think tank, which is my own library and research and study and be by myself and sit in silence and meditate and know who the God presence in me is. If that's what that means, then I embrace not having social skills. I don't want social skills. I don't want to be skillful because to me, social skills by the person or persons who's saying that to me, when I consider the source, social skills mean being idle. Social skills mean wasting my time, which I don't have much of. I'm 42. The average life expectancy of the black man in America, uh, last time I checked, was 60, 65, maybe. And this is considering the lifestyle, considering he lives a healthy lifestyle. He's not drinking, smoking, and, and running the streets. 60, 65. I'm 42. I don't have a lot of time left if, the, if we use this standard. And I've and, and and to be honest with you, I'm kind of, you know uh, considering my background, I I beat the odds because I'm not even supposed to be alive considering the background. So again, like I said, if being antisocial, if being labeled uh, you know socially inept, if being labeled a one-track minded thinker means that I'm in line with Proverbs 4:25, 25, 27, 25 through 27, which means I'm I'm pondering the the ways my steps, I'm strategically planning my financial life, my emotional life, my spiritual life. I'm putting everything like you are strategically in my life cuz I I I placed you here. You, you, you not being in my life is intentional. Me being socially inept to you is intentional. It's not because uh, uh, I'm unknowingly socially inept. I'm intentionally being socially inept because socializing with you does not progress me. And there's a there's a there's an old maxim, an adage, a proverb that says, "If you show me your friends, I'll show you your future." If you're if you hang out with five broke people, you will be number six. 
birds of a feather flock together. That so these are these are sayings we're all familiar with. So Proverbs 4, 25 through 27. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace.